starting out in the in the spring we mark out our fields and we actually plant a, a wheat strip in between each row that helps for wind protection come harvest time we'll get a I see a lot of those different practices. First thing we have a crew that goes through and uh, cuts them. Uh, they decide which watermelon are ripe and ready to go and they'll uh, roll them over to make them easier for the next crew to identify. And then as they come through, we, they pick them up and put them on a conveyor that we have and that loads them, does most of the work for it, loads them up into the trailer and then they pull them off and pack them into the trailer. And then we bring them back here into our yard and where they're unloaded again by hand onto a conveyor sorting system and it si weighs them and, si and sorts them according to their sizes and then we pack them in bins according to their size out there so yeah. and then we we store them here in our facilities until wait uh, shipment i mean without the h2a program we couldn't do couldn't do this um h2a we have 16. um we got about 30, just over 30 employees overall, but most of our stuff um, comes in, sits about one day and goes out the next day. And some of those they go to a distribution center and they might sit there for a couple of days before they make it out to the stores and then um, by the time the store has it for a few days and the consumer picks it up, that pretty much uses up its whole life so the quicker we can get them out there the end product is a lot better for the consumer so, and then we run a, a local delivery route as well throughout um, Idaho into Wyoming into Utah and those um, they of course skip the whole distribution center step and so they're that much fresher of a product. Local.